this video I'll show you how to create chord progressions in Logic. I'll explain how to use MIDI tools to quickly generate chords in different keys, even if your understanding of music theory is very basic. First I'll create an empty MIDI region and use command 4 key command to open separate MIDI editor screen. Before adding notes you should decide which key you are going to work in. Logic scale quantize feature can help you avoid adding wrong notes. To make it easier in this example I'll be using C major. Now let's press T to open tool menu and scroll down or press B to select brush. If your scale quantize feature is activated, brush tool will add notes that belong to the scale you have selected. This way you simply can't place notes out of that scale. Now we can switch to quarter notes so we can place four notes in one bar. I will replicate a very common four chords progression with the C root note, G, A and F notes. A single note placement can be a good starting point to listen how those intervals work before you start adding more notes to create actual chords. If you understand harmony, you can build chords from here or play a MIDI keyboard to capture your idea. But for some it's faster and easier to use tools that Logic offers to make this process simpler. Let me show you. First we can go to Inspector and add Chord Trigger plugin. And if you press play, we should hear some chords instead of the single notes we programmed. Right now it doesn't sound that great. Let's use learn function and play a chord shape that we want to use. In this example I would like to use a simple triad. Let's hear how it sounds. As you can probably hear we are still getting some wrong notes because of how intervals work. There is a way to fix that. Let's go back to inspector and add transpose plugin right after the chord trigger. Here we want to make sure that the root note and scale match the scale quantize we have used in the piano roll. And now we should hear the intervals adjusted to the C major scale. This sounds correct to me. But if we look at the piano roll, we still see single notes because the rest is generated by MIDI plugins. There is a way you can print out those notes, but it requires some changes in MIDI settings of your system. If you do it once, it will be available to you anytime. Go to Preferences, MIDI, and then Inputs. You should see the IAC driver bus that handles MIDI signals on your computer. If it's not there, you should check the link below and set it up beforehand. This driver allows you to rewrote MIDI signals on your computer. And as I said, you only need to set it up once. Now let's get back to our chords. First I'm going to duplicate the track and disable MIDI plugins, because we won't need them after we print out the chords. On the original track I will need to replace the instrument with utility named external instrument. And here I will send process MIDI to the IAC bus. The driver is now feeding all the MIDI coming from the original track back to Logic so we can simply press record and capture a final result. You can already see the chords. Don't forget to disable external instrument to avoid feedback issues. Now let's go to piano roll and see how we can improve the chords. You might want to try inversion to make chord transition smoother without big beat changes. And maybe add a few more extra notes for richer sound. If you know harmony it won't be a problem to expand your chords, otherwise trust your ear and let the program quantize the notes for you. You can use flex time and stretch the MIDI regions making them change faster. Or make it slower if you want a pad like long transitions. I tend to start developing chord progressions with the basic piano sound. But later when the idea is taking shape, it's good to try changing instruments and maybe do some sound design. Those plain chords could work as a pad in the background, but not interesting enough as a basis for a track. So let's try adding some elements of rhythm to it. You could do it manually in piano row, but often it takes too much time and it's so easy to get lost in adjusting length of mid bars. Arpeggiator can let you try different rhythmic ideas quickly, without even touching MIDI notes. Here you can switch to grid and set a chord trigger.
or make a simple three-step pattern. You can imitate strumming of the chords, just add note triggers and increase ARP speed. The strumming is too repetitive. To fix this you can add more empty steps to silence the distance to the next chord, and maybe add a few chord triggers to fill the gaps. To make it sound more organic, play with the velocity. Now I think I'm happy with this pattern, and would like to make some small changes in the piano roll. To see the MIDI notes we can repeat the process by duplicating the track and simply dragging the external instrument's utility from the previous track. And don't forget to disable the ARP on the duplicated track. And just like this we have captured the pattern. In the piano roll you can fine tune the notes and length of chords. We didn't actually play the chords, so it's better to add some randomness to those notes by using Humanized MIDI Transform tool. Here I'm going to bypass length changes, add velocity range randomization so every note will have slightly different loudness within set range, as if we played it on a real instrument. And now we have an interesting chord progression that could be used in the arrangement. Next let me show you one more way you can easily generate chord progressions with no effort. Not many people know about it, but I find myself using it very often. Let's use the original single note MIDI region to test it. We'll have to add an instrument first. And insert a MIDI scripter plugin. In the presets search for guitar strummer script. It's designed to emulate guitar strumming, but works great with any other instrument. Play around with the division or strumming speed. If you scroll down you can find chord assignments, where you can assign any chord to corresponding note. Basically here you have a chord generator, and with the help of IEC driver you can print those chords. Duplicate the track, reuse the external instrument, and hit record. Then you can go to the piano roll and continue working with the MIDI notes individually. Even if you don't find use for chord progressions you try, don't delete them, otherwise it's a waste of your time. You should start saving your IDs or individual chords so you can use them in the future, or could build a library of chords that you can pull anytime and start playing around. Mm -hmm.